dear students in this video we are going to discuss about the water the major abiotic factor life on earth began in the seas and water is essential for the survival of all forms of life about Three fourth of the Earth's surface is covered with water. We call it as hydrosphere. Water is found in three states: gaseous state, liquid state, and solid state. There are two types of water on the Earth. They are fresh water and salt water. For fresh water, rivers, lakes. and ponds or example salt water or marine water seas and oceans or example based on the dissolved salt water can be hard water and soft water if it is a hard water it will definitely have sulfates of calcium and sulfates of magnesium or nitrates of calcium or nitrate of magnesium will be found in the water if hardness can be removed by boiling it is temporary hard water if the boiling does not help to remove the hardness means it is a permanent hard water okay and now we are going to see about the essential properties of water water is one of the main agents in pedogenesis pedogenesis is nothing but the soil formation it is an important two mark question please note it pedogenesis soil formation it is the medium for several different ecosystem so we know what is ecosystem and the different kinds of ecosystem we, we know water is the medium for several different ecosystems it is present as moisture in the atmosphere and the outer layers of the lithosphere and it, and is uneven distribution on the earth okay so it is present in the moisture in the atmosphere in the atmosphere we can feel that no water is in in the condition of moisture condition the outer layer of the lithosphere lithosphere is nothing but the in tamil we know you know parai so parai oda velipuram the outer layer of the lithos hmm, will contain these moisture conditions and the water is uneven in distribution on the earth so uneven we can understand that uneven in some places water are morely available in some places water is lessly available and in some places there is no water so uneven distribution then water is heavier than air and imparts greater buoyancy to the aquatic medium so while comparing air water is heavy and it imports greater buoyancy buoyancy is nothing but the medakum tanmai tannile medakud illa nerra porulgal that is that is buoyancy to the aquatic medium in all aquatic mediums many properties are buoyancy has the buoyancy in water because the ability of water to make the the, the property to uh, to be on on the water okay this enables the organism to float at variable levels yeah. so at the variable levels in a species can uh, can float on the surface of the water okay then water has high heat capacity and latent heat due to which it can uh, which hold a large amount of heat okay 
so water contains a high heating capacity heat capacity is there and latent heat is nothing but the internal heat or temperature of the water hmm? due to which it can uh, withhold a large amount of heat okay so it has the capacity uh, to retrain all the heat with it okay thus oceans and lakes tend to maintain a relatively constant temperature and the biosphere is relatively thermostable okay because the water has the latent heat capacity the oceans and lakes tend to maintain the constant temperature relatively constant temperature and all the bio organism which is living in uh, oceans and lakes or which is uh, relatively thermostable because their water temperature is in uh, stable conditions we you know water is physically unique because it is less dense as a solid than as a liquid so it is a uh, simple uh, context uh, we know that it is unique water is unique it has no unique characteristics here they have compared with the ice ice versus water you can say that uh, uh, it is unique because it is less dense as a solid than as a liquid that we can understand when water freezes 0 degree celsius it contracts the maximum density of uh, liquid water occurs at uh, 4 degree celsius below that it expands markedly okay so in 0 degree celsius water get contracts and uh, below 4 degree celsius it expands markedly this enables ice to float on the top of the water bodies hmm? ice also a form of water no it can also float on the water bodies due to its temperature based on the temperature and so only the surface of water bodies will freeze while below the surface water will be liquid form and sustaining life so when the temperature changes outside the surface of the water bodies will get changes maybe it becomes freeze but it will support the all the species which will be inside the water body inside the surface no the deep water it will it will support to all the species uh, to sustaining their life no? then water is considerably as a universal solvent <coughs> okay actually for my point of opinion this point should be come as a first point eh? water is considered as a universal solvent it is an universal solvent it is the main medium by which chemical constituents are transported from abiotic component to living components of an ecosystem so in an ecosystem there is a transformation between the abiotic factor to the biotic factor and water acts as a medium main medium because it is considered as a universal solvent then finally water has high surface tension okay high surface tension so in water surface it has the capacity to Huh? water to attract something we will see what is it this allows the pollen grains dust particles and even water striders even water striders to remain at the surface of the water body even though they are denser than the water even though they are the denser than the water okay you can see the tension even though it is denser than water so water has the high surface tension and this allows the pollen grains 
dust and even water striders water striders is uh, nothing but the uh, the insect which lives on the water surface tanniki mela madakra poochi ella irukku liya that is water striders uh, to remain at the surface of a water body even though they are denser than the water okay so even though it is denser than water so so water vada adhu vandu adhiga adarthiyoda irundalum it can float on the water surface because water has high surface tension okay and in the small diagram image we can see that uh, the 0 degree 1 degree 2 degree 3 degree 4 degree celsius and in the top of the water we can see minus 6 degree celsius relates to the ice formation okay thank you